tapped into a surveillance drone. Mize on. Roach. All right, guys. Now, as surprising as it might sound, in a new tweet from the official Call of Duty account, Infinity Ward, I would assume, or whoever's in charge, announced that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 will be released October 28th this year. They even also gave us a little bit of a sneak peek here and there and actually a little less than 48 hours ago some people spotted the new Modern Warfare 2's artwork at the platform too. Check it out. You said we'll miss it. Good year. This is it, hermano. Bravo, stand by for contact. The city of Tertium is under attack. My city. The dark tide of chaos is rising. See, after almost two years since its reveal, a Games Workshop will finally announce a release date for Warhammer 40k's Dark Tide. Said it's now releasing September 13 this year and coming to Xbox Series X and PCs only. Dark Tide, generally, in case you are new to, is a co op shooter by the same folks who made Vermintide games, hence, the new game uses the same formula but sends the player into a distant future and into the depth of a hive city. Take a look. So you're the scum we're counting on now. And if it's come to this, then God Emperor help us all. Y'all remember Made of Ska, a survival game from 2020? You see, there is a successor for that IP in the making by the same company, going by Wales Interactive Geniuses, if I say so myself, and said to be a co-op experience called Ska Ritual. Actually, a game you can play solo or with up to four players at the same time. Check it out. To accompany the news, he also came up with this and said this game is coming to PCs and the next generation consoles. So the corporations gave us solutions. Better world. And we welcome them into our lives. Now, Perfect Dark, on the other hand, from last year, was self described as a first person shooter, spy thriller, maybe something in the same vein as Splinter Cell's games. Nobody really knows yet. The company, however, just actually dropped the news of partnering up with Square Enix and possibly releasing the game by the end of this year, if not early next year. This game, in case you're wondering, is also acting as a Microsoft exclusive and coming to pieces and Xbox consoles only. Check it out. Did you find the answers you were looking for, Agent Dark? Not yet. This is just the beginning.
Coming up at number 5, it's Midnight Ghost Hunt. Never played the game, even though it's been there for quite a while, it is actually sitting on Steam through early access phase with very positive reviews considering it is in its early access. And you can right now have hands on the game for the price of 20 bucks, I think. This game is as you can see a mix of hide and seek type of game and with elements of running at a time in terms of actual gameplay. And here is also the new update trailer. Moving on, we have uh, Hubris, actually a virtual reality shooter at heart and one with an episodic structure. First episode of which actually come to mention after years of anticipation came out way no more than only a few months ago and has been sitting on Steam for free ever since. Honestly, we don't really have too much to go on with Hubris over here as of this moment other than the fact that it is visually pretty good and that the game in its full for PCs also is set to be coming out in only about a few months from now. So just Keep it in mind. Scorn is currently slated for release in October of this year for PCs and Xbox Series X only, after being in development for 7 years maybe? No complaining however, the company is being through some tough road. And well the good thing is that it's finally coming out in about a few months from now. Now for those of you unfamiliar, somehow, Scorn over here is a first person survival game in which you all you have is some sort of a biochemical weapon as you navigate your way out through a labyrinth. Check it out, the fine folks at the company just came up with another gameplay trailer. Squad, let's go. Haven't done this one before. Don't worry, we got you. Talk about games you can actually have hands on right now. Here we have another multiplayer game called Leap. 
also available through its early access phase on Steam since only a few hours ago, what we initially thought to be a 30 vs 30 online multiplayer then I turned out to be 10 vs 10 at tops, which actually pissed an awful lot of people, but still a pretty fun to play first person shooter, great mobility for a skill based first person shooter, and one well, obviously that needs quite a bit of work. Yet, check it out, the full game set to be coming out actually real soon. Where'd you buy, mate? My bad. Airstrike incoming! Beauty ult, mate. Oh man, that was sick. Okay, what was that? Airstrike ultimate, let's move! Moving on, it's the one and only Marauders, tactical first-person multiplayer looter shooter that came out way actually this April. Technically a game where you play as a space pirate, you get to work solo or in squads of up to three other players in multiplayer. You get to fight, hunt for food, craft weapons and gears, basically gathering what you need to survive with. Check it out, this game said to be coming to PCs only early next year. Now, this one comes our way once again after almost a year since review. Project Wrath is actually one of the often mentioned indie games that has a lot in common with the Counter-Strike formula or games, and focus purely on infantry combat, constant action, and well, what they say, fun gameplay. That is, technically speaking, the goal with the developers here who just came out and said this game's releasing in the next couple of weeks and into PCs only. Oh, now 3D Realms also revealed, not this week, but the one before, that they will actually be taking over the publishing rights for Rip Out, a game that was announced more than a year ago and what was described to be a co-op first-person shooter or survival game, both maybe. They even announced that the game is now a next-generation console exclusive in addition to PCs and the game's releasing sometime later this year. Anyway, to accompany the good news, they also came up with a brand new trailer.
Next, moving on, we've got the Cycle Frontier. Actually, most of you might be just familiar with this one already. Well, technically, a spin-off of the studio's previous PvPVE game, The Cycle. This time around, though, taking things into a kind of escape from tarkov shooter thing, set in a new world, still pretty much a free-to-play game, and with even more looting and even more threats to deal with. Check it out. Cycle Frontier is on its way to PCs only through Steam and due out on June 8th. Coming up next, it's Scath. See, Scath was technically announced only two months ago. We heard back then that this game is coming to both generation of consoles and PCs and that we're getting hands on the thing real shortly. Scath, in terms of gameplay, as you can see, promises some intense blood splattering shooting fun doing the old deadliest demons trick there is and interestingly here you get to play the role of Scar himself which is just some dude in charge of all legions of hell check it out Moving on, it is Delysium. Well, I've actually mentioned this one, what is described by its developers to be the world's first playable AAA blockchain open world video game, and one that comes in with the real deal in terms of AI power. I mean, this is what they say. Not much to say here, except I'm not really sure about the whole thing quite yet, or if it'll eventually deliver, but nonetheless, Delysium is said to be coming to PCs only and due out in the next few months. Check it out. Coming up at number 15, I think, it is Moon Mystery, a halfway brand new indie first person shooter, or just one with first person shooting elements because it seems to be a puzzle game mainly and an exploration based, I don't know, maybe something in the same vein as Boundary, or at least in terms of combat, but well, check it out. Apparently in the game something strange is happening on the moon, and you are the only one who can actually figure out the problem here. Moon Mystery is said to be coming to pieces only early next year. Take down the enemy, capture resources. Alright, coming up behind that, it is Vistera, I think. Well, as you can see, a science fiction based first person survival shooter in which the players cooperate with or compete against each other on a destroyed version of Earth. Well, this game has actually all the usual survival elements like shooting, crafting, etc. You can also play the game in single player modes if you're just not into co-op play. Check it out, there's a demo available for this game on Steam right now, but the full game is set to be released next year. Survive till the last.
Now, Crowds, on the other hand, is in fact one of the free multiplayer games that's been around for quite a while. For those of you new, this is a squad-based first-person shooter sitting on Steam now through its early access phase for free. At the moment, this game only supports two modes, both in an open world setting and pretty exciting, I would say. The final product, however, in case you're wondering, is still yet to be announced, and it goes without saying that the game has a long road to go before reaching perfection. However, here's what it is. And finally, right over here, we're taking a look at Warhammer 40k, Bolt's Gun, just announced about a half an hour ago as a retro-inspired Doom-esque, 90s-inspired first-person shooter. Bolt's Gun over here is on its way to PCs and consoles, Switch included and due out early to mid next year. Story-wise, in case you're just wondering, here you are playing as a space marine traveling across the galaxy to fight off... Demons? I don't know. 